o'clock in, in Stegman Coliseum. So we'll uh, we'll go ahead and get started. Try to get this thing moving along. We'll we'll start with Dash and, and then go to Chip. Oh, set, Coach. You know what? I said, Coach, get set. Let let me. I'm gonna see if I can get this thing going on the uh, on the computer, and I can jump off the phone. Okay, sounds good. Yep. Okay, yeah. great. I'll start off here. I'll All right, you. go ahead, Dash. <laughs> Hit my record button real quick here. Uh, no, Coach, just, just first of all, just just having the opportunity. I don't know how you felt about it after the second round of the SEC, but to have one more chance of playing basketball with this group, uh, how important yeah. is this? I love it. I'm I'm excited about it. Um, I'm excited to to dive into the to the Xavier Scout and learn as much about them as as possible in a really quick term. But you know they've got the same thing. It's it's part of the excitement of this time of uh, of year, uh, in particular with the NIT opportunities because uh, some of these um, like this one just come really quick. Um, but it gives young people an opportunity, you know, for for more opportunity, right, for development and for experience. Uh, whether it's our fifth year guys or our freshmen or anyone in between, they've earned the right to play postseason, and no one can ever take that away from them. Um, it's not the NCAA tournament, of course, but uh, the NIT is a prestigious event that we're proud to be a part of. Yeah, Coach. Uh, following up on that a little bit, uh, obviously, some uh, several programs kind of opted out of this thing for whatever reason, um, and I'm just wondering. Uh, you were you had your hand raised right away. For the NIT, I know you need to recruit yeah. the portal too. So, uh, tell tell me why you're you're excited about it, and and maybe what you're hearing in the coaching community why some some others wouldn't be excited about it. Hey, it's, probably, it's probably based on their roster more than anything. I, I just I didn't get the feeling that uh, we'd have guys that would just decline the opportunity. Um, heck, we had practice today, not knowing if we'd even have another opportunity and guys still got after it. And, and we've talked about it all year. You know, we've got a team that likes to work and, and enjoys being between the lines and, and competing. Um, but we, you know, we would have played with, with, with five, you know, that wanted to play. Uh, not surprisingly though, I, I think we'll be at full strength or at least near, near full strength. We'll learn more about that tomorrow. Um, but I'll, you know, I'll challenge our guys tomorrow to um, obviously take advantage of, of a, another opportunity. I mean, another factor as to why, we should be excited about it because we lost our last one. You know, give, give you an opportunity to get that taste out of your mouth, potentially. You know, I'm sure Xavier feels the same way and, and everyone else in this field. All right, next we'll go to uh, Jordan Hill and then Mark Weiser. Jordan? Mike, just sort of going off of that, what, what have the last few days been like sort of in limbo waiting for this announcement and, and now obviously understanding that uh, you guys do have another game to play? You know, we had the travel day, which is natural. Um you know, after any any tournament that, that we've been associated with, whether it's, you know, conference or, or preseason non-conference stuff. And then we took a day and then again today got after it. Um, again, it was a unique practice. It was fun. We did, we for the most part, we just competed, let guys get up and down. Um, there wasn't much drill work. There wasn't much, um, you know, prep, uh, scout team stuff, scouting report stuff for obvious reasons but that said again I, I think our guys took advantage today of just uh shaking some of that rust off and, and getting our win back a little bit and competing all right mark weiser like i think i'm having video uh, problems but uh audio wise at least it's here um any chance jabri will be able to play and you know we mentioned a strange time kind of with with the portal opening um has anyone told you that that they they might opt out and and look at that that future for themselves no one has told me that to this point, Mark. Um, things could change. Who knows? Uh, and I, you know, I'd rather I'd rather not speculate again. And we had a we were at full strength at practice today. Jabri did not go physically; he was there mentally. Um, I don't know whether he goes tomorrow or not. He's he's day to day, according to uh, to Lance, our trainer. All right. Uh, next up, we'll go with uh, Palmer from Dogs HQ, and then Mike Griffith. Palmer. Yeah, Mike, obviously you've been a part of the NIT a couple times before. Just what have the benefits of playing in this tournament been? Uh, again, just opportunities uh, for, for individual development, for um, potential momentum going into the next year. I think that was probably more of a prevalent sentiment 
10 years ago and even five years ago before the, the portal era um, became, um, you know, as significant as it currently is um, because who knows what's going to happen to a lot of our rosters uh, in the NIT and, and, and heck anywhere else at that. Um, but, you know, it, this, this, I mean, college basketball is about these young people gaining experience and, and developing on and off the court. And it's just another opportunity to, to compete, right. To compete together, to compete against another institution. And, um, we lost our last one. Um, heck you guys want to play Tuesday night at home against the big East team. Yes. Yes. Uh, that, that should be, um, our approach to this thing. All right, Mike Griffith. Thanks Trey. Yep. It, Mike, from a just from a, I know what you're saying about the the portal and rosters changing, but just I guess from a a perception standpoint, I mean, obviously, um, you know, Georgia basketball, you're trying to build a culture here, winning culture, a, a fan base. Uh, just to be in the postseason, uh, how big of a step is that for you as you go out to recruit and and talk about the progress you've made in the program? Well, I think there's a big difference. You know, might between selling this spring and, in in, you know, whether it be portal guys or or high school juniors or sophomores or what have you, um, in, in, in there's a big difference between, again, um, hey, we feel like we got better, you know, had a similar record, uh, but our league was better, our numbers are better. Um, you know, we, again, no one can take away the fact that we made the NIT, we made postseason. It's not the ultimate goal, but it's a step in the right direction got better um, from year one, year two, we went to the NIT. Uh, now, that's if it ended right now. You know, hopefully, and, and I would assume Xavier and everyone else in this thing is is optimistic about potentially making a run. You never know. Uh, we just hope to prepare well tomorrow. I think we will hope to play well Tuesday night. How well, following up real quick, Mike, yeah, go ahead. Yeah. how well did you think you, you guys were playing at the end there? Obviously, Florida went on and was pretty doggone impressive against Alabama. Where, where where did you feel like your team was at the at the end of that tournament? Man, I I love the way we finished the Missouri game, uh, and I thought Missouri played really really well early second half. The way we started that game though was about as well as we played the first fifteen minutes or so of that game, uh, and then I thought we played really well against a Florida team that that uh, has got a chance to make a run. You know, um, you could go back to the other two times that we played them, but we were probably most competitive in that last one, um, you know, in the second round of the SEC tournament where, you know, we we led for uh, not the majority, but there, there were a bunch of minutes in that game where, you know, we had the lead, um, again, against a team that um, is capable of making a run. We were right there, um, you know, a couple stops, a couple made shots, a couple made free throws, a couple whistles, who knows. Um, it, it could have ended a little bit differently, but I, I loved the fight from our guys I thought we left it in Nashville. All right, Virginia Miller or Noah, uh, do you guys have any questions? Um, Coach, I was just wondering if there's any specific things y'all are working on in practice leading into the game on Tuesday. Well, today we just competed, and, and today was more about, again, shaking the um, – uh, shaking the, uh, the, the rust off a little bit and, and getting back to our wind and shooting, dribbling, passing uh, – it was almost uh, controlled pickup uh, a little bit. Tomorrow will be uh, – it'll be a bunch of Xavier. You know, we'll try to learn as much as we can tonight, tomorrow morning, uh, and focus on putting ourselves in the best position to defend them and, and score against a, a really uh, stingy defense, um, you know, against, again, a, a good Big East opponent. Um, but nothing in particular other than the um, – you know, the normal preparation, the normal two-day uh, scout. All right. We want to keep this as, as brief as possible, of course, but uh, time for a couple more questions. Uh, Dash or, or Chip, do you have any more? You good? Chip? Uh, you know, I think I'm good right now. Uh, actually, I got to get this up and out as quick as possible. Okay. Uh, Jordan, any of you guys? I, I, got, a, I got a quick one, Mike, about, about those freshmen. I mean, mm -hmm. you hear about, you know, freshman wall and whatnot. It almost seems like your freshmen have ported mm -hmm. on. It looks like they're getting more playing time. Can you talk about uh, just the importance for those those three young guys look like they've emerged as starters? Yeah, they, they've played well. And you, you said it uniquely. They're playing their best basketball at the end of the year. You know, Silas has um, been pretty consistently 
productive throughout the year, um, which is an outlier, you know, outside of some of these, um, uh, you know, a, a few of the other guys in our league. Um, that you, you look at South Carolina, you look at uh, Mississippi State, uh, you look at Kentucky. Uh, there's not many freshmen in our league that have made the the impact that that Silas has consistently. That said, though, I do think he's a better player than he was in November. He's getting better and better, and Blue Canes earn more opportunity. Dylan James is playing um, uh, more more like a sophomore than he was early on. You know, he's getting better and and, and taking advantage of his opportunities as well. And and hopefully um, those guys can finish strong. But again, it's uh, you'd hope that our that our fifth year guys and and our and our fourth year guys and third year guys can do the same. Uh, hopefully we can uh, we can play well on Tuesday night. But I certainly like uh, our freshmen. Um, and the ceiling that those guys have. And um, it, it, it's pretty unique that we've had three that have made the impact that those guys have had. Mike, if I could just jump in real quick, what sort of goes into like a two-day scout, sort of like you're saying uh, on such short notes? Yeah, there'll be a bunch of film. And, and so we'll do we'll, – we'll break it up more so. Uh, we'll have shorter film sessions because we'll have more of them. Uh, we'll watch film right up until game, uh, in, until we tip Tuesday night. Um, so we'll do some. We'll probably do something Tuesday morning. We'll do some Tuesday at at uh, pre pregame meal and shoot around. Do something in the locker room, uh, and it'll start tomorrow afternoon. We'll probably do something again tomorrow night. Um, physically, I like that we got something done today, so you don't feel like you need to to make up for three days off. Um, you know, we can go an hour over the next couple of days, not be overly physically taxing, but have the normal physical routine. But uh, from a mental standpoint, try to shorten it and consolidate it as much as possible. All right, coach. More, I've got one more as yep, well. One more. Yep. Um, obviously you guys have played nothing but SEC competition since the turn of the new year. Just how excited are you to see the improvement of this team compared to the rest of the country, a non-conference opponent like that? You know what? It, it's, um, It'll be interesting, you know, for those guys and and for us, just to, uh, you know, just to just to see where we stack is differently. You know, the, it's exciting to play a different, you know, opponent from a different league that we hadn't seen in a long time. Re regardless, that said, though, I think the level will be very similar. Obviously, I'm biased. I think the SEC is the best league in the country, but um, you know, Xavier's in a really good league, a really good program that uh, wins year in and year out, and uh, I'm sure. Um, the talent level, the execution, the toughness, the physicality, I'm sure there'll be a lot of similarities uh, to our league. Hey, Mike, I was just going to ask you, how do you envision you and your staff dividing your time in the next 48 hours between game prep and, and uh, portal stuff? We'll balance it collectively. Um, we'll have a point guy who's who's in charge of um, catching up the rest of us um, on, on Xavier, probably midday tomorrow. Uh, but the phones will be will be burning first thing in the morning uh, with all of us, um, and it, it's really a year round thing. It just it, it just picks up a little bit, you know, the day the the, the portal opens, uh, which is tomorrow morning. All right, Carter. We'll start with Mike Griffith this time. Mike. Well, no. Can you talk about just how excited you guys are uh, to keep the ball bouncing after the way you uh, look like you finished pretty strong in Nashville. Um, I, I think everybody's excited. Um, you know, the opportunity to play again with this group um, is something that, you know, you couldn't be more blessed of an opportunity. And then a chance to get the host and play at Stegman is also another opportunity that we, you know, we can't wait for. So we're excited. Uh, Palmer? Yeah, no, it's been since 2017 that Georgia made the postseason in any form. Just how big of an accomplishment does this feel like to bring Georgia basketball back to March? Um, it's a huge accomplishment, you know, it's something that, you know, a couple of us guys talked about when we came here is, um, you know, helping this program and uh, doing whatever, doing whatever we can to, you know, take it in the right direction. And, um, you know, even though it's not the NCAA tournament, um, a chance to play in the NIT, you know, that's, that's something that, you know, last year's team didn't do and, you know, and to move forward, you know, hopefully next year's team can make it to the NCAA tournament. So that's what it's about when you're trying to build a program. All right. Next up, we'll go to, um, Mark Weiser, Mark. Hey, Noah, can you remind me, what, what is your history of postseason tournaments since you've been in college? And, um, you know, what's your anticipation for this one? Uh, well, my freshman year obviously got canceled because um, COVID. 
then um you know I haven't played any postseason basketball so this is my first time so I'm excited and um you know ready to make a run at this thing all right next up we'll go to Jordan Hill Jordan no, I saw on social media where, you know, for a minute there it seemed like the season had ended and, and the, you know, now, you know, y'all are going to the NIT. Just what, what's that like, you know, the, the last few days and what kind of adjustment do you have to make and the rest of your teammates make kind of turning that switch back on to get ready for this? Um, I think the biggest thing is not knowing, you know, obviously, uh, you know, after we lost in Nashville, I thought it, for a moment that, uh, you know, that was it for me for my college career. And it was now the time to start looking at what we we're going to be doing professionally. Um, but, you know, um, you know, we had a gut feeling that it was a chance we could play again. So I always kind of kept that in the back of my mind. And so, you know, now it's like, you know, let's flip the switch back on the college and do what we got to do. So I think a lot of us fifth year seniors and guys around the country are thinking the exact same thing. All right. Next up, we'll go to Chip Towers. Yeah, uh, Noah, just kind of on that. Your presence here tells me that you're not planning on opting out. I guess there's teammates who could who could possibly do that. Are you? actively lobbying has this been discussed in the locker room as a group of players that hey we we need you you, you got to stick with us has it come up in any way shape or form um no I think you know this this group of guys and you know they they enjoy play, we enjoy playing with each other I know for me I feel like that'd be disrespectful to the fans and to this program for me to not play in this game like this and it's something I want to do you know a chance to keep playing with you know with Georgia on the front of my jersey um you know, like I said, I've I, the whole year I've been blessed to be in this opportunity, so I'm going to make the most out of it. So I don't think anybody on our team will opt out. I think everybody's going to play. Matter of fact, I, I'm 99.9 percent .9 sure everybody's going to play. Okay, appreciate All it. Right. Good. Next, next we'll go to Anthony Dasher. Hey, you no. Know, um, how do you well do you think you guys were playing at the at the end of the year there in the tournament, especially how well Florida you know wound up doing in it. Oh, I think we were playing well. Uh, you know, obviously we we had some tough losses. You know, right before the tournament, but. You know, like Coach White said, the you know, the first 15 minutes at Missouri game, I think we got back to playing really, really good basketball and guarding how we had been guarding before we started struggling. Um, Even in the Florida game, I think, we, you know, we were right there. We were right there the whole game. It was it was like a boxing match, you know, two good fighters throwing punches and punches and punches. And then eventually some shots didn't go our way, some calls that were maybe questionable that didn't go our way. And, you know, it, you know we ended up losing the game. But I, I think that we performed well against a team like Florida, a team that has the opportunity to make a big run. And, um, you know, they were a couple of plays away, you know, from today to winning the SEC championship. So I think that's something that we have to look account into or take account into the, and, and, you know, keep that momentum going into the NIT. Appreciate it, man. All right. Up next, we'll go to Virginia Miller with the red and black. Virginia? Uh, Noah, after the really tough loss against Florida and your first game in the postseason play, how are you preparing mentally for this game? Um... Honestly, I haven't even thought about it yet. You know, I'm excited to be in this opportunity. Um, I think just taking it like it's another game, um, even though it's a chance that, you know, if we lose and it'll be it for me for sure. Um, I think you can't, you know, look at it like that. I think you just got to do the right plays, play the game the right way, you know, whether it take the right shot, make the right pass and um, try to guard their best players. I know they got some, you know, big time scores. Um, so that's just how I'm looking at it every day. Just trying to study my opponent, you know, after we get off this Zoom and, and start locking in the play Xavier. All right, up next, we'll go to a few of the TV stations. Uh, Emily or Reggie or David, do you all have any questions? All right, we'll go back to Mike Griffith. Mike, do you have anything? No, I'm good, thank you. All right, uh, we have time for one or two more. Are we good? Uh, I'll just ask Noah, just what do you know at this point about Xavier and, and what will this prep sort of look like uh, on such short notice? Well, it's so funny. I, um, my first year at Niagara, we played Xavier – and um, I hit a full court shot at the end of the game. So um, that's something people don't know. Um, it was different coaching staff. Obviously, Sean Miller, you know, he's a good coach and stuff. Um, I know they have some good scores on their team. I know they play really hard and physical. It's the Big East, one of the you know, premier leagues in the country. So I know it's going to be a dogfight. You know, I, I think we have a lot of momentum. You know, I hope Stegman is rocking on Tuesday. We, we need you guys. Like I said all the time, you guys play a huge factor into our success. And, um, you know, hopefully we make it uncomfortable for them and try to get a win. Yeah, no, you mentioned the Big East there. and. Um, you know, getting to play another conference. Obviously, it's been nothing but SEC since January for y'all. How excited are you to see the improvement of this team, you know, and compare it to the earlier non-conference results? I'm, I'm really excited. You know, um, you know, when I was watching it on TV and I seen we were playing Xavier, um, I said this is a big opportunity for us. You know, they're they're really, really good. I think um, you know, they've they've done a lot of really good things. I mean, they were in the game with a with a lot against a lot of really good opponents. Um, they took Houston down to the wire. So I know it's gonna be a good game. Um, and this is a huge test for us in our program. 
And um, hopefully, you know, we do what we need to do to get the win and keep them in, in advance. All right. Time for maybe one more question. Anybody else? All right, Noah. Great job. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank, thank you, guys. You